Hey everyone, welcome back to the third episode in Night Springs, the Ellen Wake DLC. It is time for Tim Breaker. Hey Mr. Door, welcome back. Doha san. We often look back and wonder, what if? What if the path not taken had in fact been our charted course? Would we be happier? Mm. Or are we, with our set of choices behind us, the lucky ones? And what if nothing would be different? What if for some of us, our destiny across the endless number of versions of ourselves has been defined and locked beyond any causality of circumstance, beyond the forces in any one reality, but across all realities? For one man, the magnetic pull of destiny is so great it breaks time and space. Mm -hmm. We join this lone operative, many versions of him in fact, as he chases his nemesis, a dangerous being known as the master of many worlds. Across the multiverse, across the many versions of a city that is always the same, yet always different. In... Springs. Tonight's reality-bending episode, Timebreaker. <laughs> Let's see it. No matter how many parallel realities I need to brave, how many lives, how many versions of me it takes, I will stop it. And I will come back for you, my love. What is that? It looks Everyone, like a take discount five. lightsaber. Okay, didn't expect this. Mr. Wake? Was that okay? I mean, I can do more. I can do less. Yes, yes, yes. Oh! <laughs> Sean, I'm really happy. Let's talk. <laughs> I love your instinct on this, but we can still push this further. Immerse ourselves into the story. <laughs> Believe in it. Make it crazier, wilder. <laughs> Poison pill entertainment. <laughs> Night Spring City. You wanted to talk? It's awesome to be doing this with you again, Sam. Sean, it's so good to have you back. We've been dreaming about this for so long, and now finally we are making Timebreaker, the video game. What's what happening? Way? Yeah, and FMV as well. That's so cool. Of course. It uh, was part of the previous game as well. What? This is so weird. He's himself, the director, talking like about, talk about making a new get video game. Lore. Hey, I could talk about this for days. He's a multiversal agent, goes by many names as there are many versions of him. Breaker, Branch, others. Mm -hmm. He's searching for his lost love while his ruthless nemesis, Dor, the master of many worlds, is murdering versions of him across parallel realities. He must track down and stop Dor. That's so cool. You've done cool superhero roles in the past. Long term, the agent will grow into the ultimate iconic superhero. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. I found my gadget. So what the is vortex it? Vortex and the gadget. I'm Sorry, I keep forgetting its name. There's there's just so many acronyms here. <laughs> but it helps me travel through realities. Acronyms are cool, right? Like yeah. Mysteries. A W E. You power up your PRS polyhedron reality shifter with a S E N <laughs> shifter energy node to activate a Lumi Vista TV and ride the vortex between realities. <laughs> it's all R E C Ripple Effect Corporation tech, and ah. you have a gun and a TPS time breaker solidifier to defend yourself. <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh, okay. You clearly have your own vision um, of the multiverse. 
the right vision, the truth, it's all out there. That's where these ideas and inspirations come from. They seep through. Somewhere this here, us talking, is part of the video game, and another version of you is playing it. Somewhere, your character, the agent, is real, and he could appear here through a portal any time now. What the right. fuck? Yeah, yeah, right, Sam. <laughs> you are a maniac, man. Totally. <laughs> okay. So, um, what do we shoot next? We need to set up for the next scene. Where your nemesis pulls you into a parallel reality. Is that actually gonna happen now? You can go to your green room, chill out, learn the lines. I left the latest draft of the screenplay for you there. See you in a bit. Cool. Can't wait. Oh my god, this is almost giving Sometimes me a headache. This is mind boggling. A deadpan finish humor. And a reputation of being a bit out there. I picked up a weird vibe when he talked about the yeah, metaverse. Where's the green room? Excuse me? Where is my green room? Whoa! Branch! What the fuck was that? That was Hello? another me! What the fuck? Oh my is this? god! I thought I'd gone mad. Then I realized Sam was playing a crazy prank on me. There's no uh, way this was Feel the skin, it's not a mask. I had to admire how real the body and the props looked. <gasps> Jesse! So got another one of you, huh? Too late again. Excuse me? <laughs> no, th this is just, it's a prank. It's just a prank. Wait, are you? Shit. You're not Branch. Mm -hmm. oh, no, 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 no. Branch is dead. No, no. Are you cast in this game too? Listen, there are things what is this? you are in great danger. You must do exactly what I tell you. <laughs> I couldn't read it. Ah, oh, I was waiting what for. What the fuck? What the fuck? Whoa, dude, your hair, your beard. Where have I you been? Out and I was suddenly someplace else. How long has it been? I'd had gaps in my memory before. But that's the movie star lifestyle for you. This uh... was something else entirely. The last thing I remembered was the red-headed woman at the door. She looked familiar. Uh-huh. She was trying to tell me something and then it went dark. Jesse, baby. It felt like a dream. Think, 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 man. I need to get out of here. A psychotic episode? Or was the multiverse true after all? Did mm. Sam do this? An elaborate hoax? Off the wall method acting reality show. It had gone way too far. I have far. no idea okay. where I am or okay. where I'm running. Yeah, let's let's go with that. Act like this is true. Oh, I have a gun. Okay. I'm an actor. I can do this. Okay, I have and a gun and meds. Over, we'll have a good laugh. And then I will punch Sam in the face. <laughs> Night Spring City Park, parallel reality bleed zone, cross dimension anomaly, no trespassing, REC. Oh, what had Sam said? I needed to find an energy node and use this rod thing with it, the PRS, was it? I and don't know. And look for some kind of TV to get the hell out of here. Yes. That was a fox you just heard. No, no, no. Door's coming. He knows where I am. What was, what was that? It's coming. He knows about the trailer. I need to hide the energy. I need to get it away from the trailer. Away from the TV. No, Ken, no. Is that a grenade? Oh Flashback? Oh my god. I wasn't certain this was a prank anymore. I heard a voice in my head. It sounded like me. Insanely. I heard the thoughts of another version, the one living here. The trailer was his. I'd check it out. Don't think, just act. Mm. The Luma Vista TV. According oh, yeah. to what Sam had said, I needed the energy. The other me had hit away from this trailer. 
Okay, so we'll get it somewhere. The handwriting was mine. Paranoid theories about the multiverse and door. The master of many worlds. I might have chosen one, gotta be careful. Killing us not dead, something worse, broken. One of us is the chosen one. Who can stop him or place him? All their names. The energy node was out there in the forest, somewhere. I was wasting time. I had to go look for it. Hmm. The spiral. Cool. So I have to go back out. Waterfall? Get the fuck away from here before door zeroes it on me. I'll make it. I'm the chosen one out of all the versions. Me. Yes. Yes. He's hidden the energy node at the creek in the forest. I have to find it. Which way do I go, though? I had to find the creek. That's uh -huh. where the other me hid the energy node. He was thinking about a waterfall deep in the forest. Yeah. Oh, I haven't been here. Thank you. Here's the creek. Okay, I found the creek. So, where's the energy node? Waterfall? Maybe further up? Hmm. What was that? There. Just like in the video game. <laughs> Just like in the video game. Ah. PRS was charged now. Oh, I see. I had to get back to the trailer and the TV. door sounds so scary. Why does he not like me? Fuck. Fuck this shit. I thought oh. it was just the plot of the video game. But it was all real. Door. The master of many worlds was murdering versions of the agent. Played by me. Mm -hmm. Versions of myself. Okay, you have a fast gun too. Good. I've got a gun. It's all true. It's no hoax. No video game. It's really happening. <laughs> I was lost in the multiverse. I had to become the role to survive. Uh huh. Be the agent. I had to get back to the trailer and the TV. It's so weird when he's PRS like, "This on. isn't a video Door game." It's like, well, yeah, it is. <laughs> I didn't want to face him. Fuck that. But I couldn't shake the feeling that it was inevitable. Use okay. the PRS, the polyhedron reality shift on the team to get out of the I felt a strange pull from the vortex on the screen. I was afraid that one of them would take Let's see what it do it does. Let's see what it do. Oh. I'm clean shaven again. <gasps> No, 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 no. Oh, no, no. Black and white. What does it say? Please do not disturb. Okay, got it. <laughs> I was in a different reality. But not better, worse. Maybe by thinking of Dor, I traveled closer to him, to where he was in control. Next time, I'd focus on something else. Twelve three the nine. Showed the way. They'd guide me through to get what I needed. 
Ouais. Ok, you got this. Find another node, another TV. I had to find the right version of the lobby in the right time when what I needed was there. Ok. It's always the right time to visit Night Springs City Ocean View Hotel. Thanks to our hotel's unique time anomaly, the time is up to you. Did you oversleep? Visit our morning lobby for the never-ending breakfast buffet. Craving one of our delicious signature cocktails? Stop by the 6 o'clock lobby, where happy hour is always in full swing. Follow the clocks to the time of your choice. Okay. Right time is only a door away. Oh, I see. 6... Three. Well, there's twelve. Should we start with that. More multiverse science babble. It gave me the creeps. Aluma Vista TV. I just needed energy to power. Okay. I couldn't hear the thoughts of the other me, the one native to this reality. Maybe Dor had killed him already. Oh, maybe Not he doesn't realize he's in an Alan Wake dimension. Okay, so that's this is the 12 one. Let's try the 3 one next. So the TV is in 12. Let's see what's in 3. Who this? Aha! The janitor! Ati! <laughs> oh, Jesus! What did the, t the other one say? Tango lobby. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I read about um, Ati's actor. His English is actually really, really good. So, in order for him to speak with a heavy accent for his part, they wrote down all of his dialogue phonetically, how he should say it with an accent. Fascinating. Hold on, this is us. Ah! This is a slow reload. Hold on. Ah, jeez, I don't see you. The corridors led to the same lobby, okay. but in different times. So what do we have in this one? Where's the coffee? I can't open this. Oh, I can. Oops, then I probably missed it. Didn't realize I could go back here. In that case, I will try. Uh, this door again. Damn it! Just came from here. I know, but I haven't checked this room. There's never a happy end for him. Okay. 
Hmm. Okay, let's go back to the TV one. No one a poison pill mentioned they made a comic book of their game. But then maybe poison pill didn't even exist in this reality. Close a 3D pull-out map comic. of the Ripple Effect Corporation. Funny. The zaniest story. All is revealed in the pages of the trippiest collection of science fiction stories on stands. Okay. Can't do anything with the TV, right? Yeah. Wait. Six, three, nine. So it's different now. Oh, you can see like the, how it's a little bit different. Three. So if I go through three, yeah, then I can't follow three again, right? Right. Okay, let me try six. So six is the start. It says morning and then six. I wonder if I need to follow it in a specific order. So I'm in morning right now. Six is this way. Twelve, I think. When I used the TV to travel between realities, I was thinking of Door, and the vortex brought me here, where the Time Breakers attacked me. Time to go. This time, a different <gasps> Jesse. Where is it going to take us? Whoa, jeez. Huh? Comic book? Something was different. A strange feeling. <laughs> like frozen snapshots on a sequential path. And yet, thoughts flowing free. Like text read out loud. <laughs> mm -hmm. it's, it's you. I made it. Door pulled you away. I thought you were gone. For sure. I focused on you when I entered the vortex. I, I was trying to reach you. You are full of surprises. Okay. Let's try this out. Okay. Welcome to the headquarters of the Ripple Effect Corporation. We were making a video game of the multiverse, but now it's suddenly real. Uh, Ati! Real and not real exist side by side in the multiverse. Echoes flow through it like currents in a cosmic ocean, the sea of night. Conceptual, fictional, real, more real than real. Many versions of us all in hidden interaction 
mm-hmm. linked by the energies that ripple through realities. Whoa, one of you cool. is killed in an explosion of dangerous energy, and another one instead gains mm-hmm. superpowers. And yet another one meets an alien guardian angel. In one reality, we're not even real. Or as you say, characters in a video game. Oh my god, uh, what? Why is he after me? Who is Dor? There are legends about him going back further than we can trace. Oh shit. They say he found an opening to a horrifying parallel reality that consumed him. Gave him access to all realities. The feedback loop killing all other versions of him. Mm. So there's only one door. I am on the threshold. Oh, We don't know why, but he sees the versions of you as a threat. He's killing them. Hmm. Bringing them back as time breakers. We thought he was after Branch. Now I'm thinking he's been after you. Like the hiss. All right. Sounds like it. I mean, what can I do? He must be stopped. He leaves dead realities in his way, and he is only picking up speed. I'm just an actor. You could have fooled me. You travel through realities with greater accuracy than anyone I've ever seen. Beyond door, even. Mm. You picked it up just like that. Finding the place that made him may be the key to killing him. That was our theory. But we can never find it. Mm. Maybe you can. That sounds like a dangerous place, though. I don't know if I want to go there. Was there something between you and Blanche? What you think you are feeling is just an echo. Some other version of us in some other lifetime. Hmm. But maybe you'll come back for me. Maybe. Wish me luck. I haven't. I haven't luck played the. Is just an echo of an event carried over from another reality. The time game. I was an RPC agent. This was my mission now. I focused on him. The darkness, the entropy, door, the master of many worlds. So cool. To be continued. Oh, the comic is to be continued. No fucking way. Can I play? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Get ready. Oh my god. Oh. Okay. Wave one. Oh. To wait for them to come a certain distance. I don't know if I need to get to the side. Oh no, there's nothing here. <laughs> Not in my wildest dreams did I think I'd be playing something like this for the DLC. That's so good! Can I also just click? Oh yeah, I can also click. Ugh. 
shine the light on you all. This is the final wave. I was just thinking, like, how much longer do I have to do this? <laughs> Impressive. Out of all the versions, you might be the chosen one. Join me and we'll rule together. No, never! You'll regret this. Also, I was lying. <laughs> Busted, isn't it? Yeah. Is there another TV? A door, maybe? Oh, there's one. Cool. Retro. That was awesome. edge of the multiverse. Whoa. Or some deep, dark trench in it. Dude. Everything sucked dry of color and energy. I hope this doesn't mean this is the amount of people that have I been... I had to find door. The amount of Tomb Breakers that have been here before on. me. Whoa. That must be the... The gap worlds. What I forgot how to describe it. You made a mistake. Go to hell. Is he or is he just luring us exactly where he wants us to be? Where do we go? Telling me I'm in the wrong one. Oh, no. Too far away. There's the TV. Oh, so he wasn't here. I thought this was gonna be it. I was close. I knew I was close now. It's almost like a self-fulfilling prophecy. Like he feels threatened by me, but I I'm only threatened because he's killing versions of me, so I'm just trying to survive. Oh, 
After dreamless sleep, you come to and gradually become aware of the utter lack of anything. Focus, go back to sleep. You search for something to focus on. An idea of a geometric shape comes to your mind. A pentagonal trap trapezohedron. How do you know the name of this shape? That you don't know. You feel yourself fading, drifting apart, losing your essence in the stream of consciousness, the ebb and flows of your thoughts. Hold yourself together. You fight to hold yourself together, to swim against the current, to break to the surface. Coming to focus, you realize your first impression was wrong. There is something and there is you. Slowly your sense, you sense the words describing this, describing how it is. Here in the farthest reaches of the multiverse, you've reached a reality where only ideas exist. An idea of reality. A conceptual reality. A thought tries to form in your mind. Focus. In the beginning, there was the word. Here, only words exist. They are everything. They describe this world and you in it. The words describe you standing in a barren conceptual desert. It stretches on to eternity. In a place outside time, you wait an immeasurable amount of time. Above, ideas of stars silently collide and collapse into black holes. With an idea of a desert comes an idea of feeling thirsty. Coffee, obviously. As you imagine it, a cup of coffee, your favorite hot beverage, manifests itself. The idea of it, the concept of its delicious smell and taste. You savor it. You imagine savoring it. You understand that here, your thoughts are as real as anything. You realize you could be trapped here forever. Vaguely, you remember that you are on a mission of vital importance. You feel the details of it already dissolving. You must figure out a way to escape before you lose yourself again. When traveling through the vortex, you always had a focal point in mind. Could that be the solution here as well? Hmm. You always had a focal point in mind. Well, we need to go to door, right? Your desert dreamscape around you darkens. You vaguely feel the terrible weight of an alien godlike awareness shift many realities away. How can you possibly find him, let alone face him? Meditate to learn. Prepare for war. Meditate. You calm yourself and seek harmony, striving to expand your consciousness to gaze into the secrets of the multiverse and understand your enemy. After struggling for what feels like a lifetime, you feel no closer to your goal. Your mind is not pure enough to grasp the secrets of the multiverse, let alone comprehend its master. You need to study this art to rise to a higher level of awareness. Force yourself to continue. Stubbornly, you continue. You push yourself past every mental and physical threshold you encounter. Time passes. You're parched and starving. Dimly, you realize you're close to dying. You're lying on the ground. Channel your mind. You strain to clear your murky head, willing the universe to show its secrets to you. Suddenly, out of a blinding light, a silhouette of a man appears. Look at him. He looks like you, but the way he carries himself and the glint of deep wisdom in his eyes tells you that this is you from the future. He offers you a seed. Take it. You accept the seed the man offers. Then he is gone. Plant it. You plant the seed in the ground. It takes root and grows. A sapling rises from the ground. It grows fast. Soon you stand at the foot of a gigantic tree reaching for the skies. The tree of life. It is the world tree. A memory drifts down from it through its bows like a falling leaf. Follow it. You follow it and see a comic book in your hands. Are they your hands? You can't remember. The comic is about the legend of a god who hung himself from a branch from the tree, world tree, sacrificing himself to gain secret knowledge. Ugh. Contemplate. The tree looms over you, inscrutable in its silence. To gain the universe's secret knowledge, you know what you need to do. You sacrifice yourself to gain the knowledge you are after to be reborn with it. You climb up the trunk and hang yourself from a branch. As you begin to choke, your mind travels along the branches of the tree on a spiritual journey. The branches of the tree reach out through all realities, supporting all realities. The multiverse is born. You sense all the realities around you, all lives and all history unfurling like a river flows, forked lightning striking. A flower blooming, a slow motion explosion blossoming, like a tree. You hang there for nine nights. It feels like an eternity. Then the branch breaks and you fall to the ground. You hear the tree groan. 
You see that the tree has grown old and is dying. From the highest branch of magic fruit sprouts and ripens. As you stand watching, the tree dies. You notice the fruit has fallen to the ground next to you, alongside a large crooked branch. Pick up the fruit. You pick up the magic fruit. It rots away in your hand, leaving behind a familiar looking seed. Suddenly you become beware of a man lying on the ground close by. He seems weak and ill, moaning to himself. Something stirs in your mind, a forgotten memory of a faded dream. Offer the seed. As you step closer, he lifts his gaze to look at you. You recognize him. He is you from the past. He takes the seed, then he is gone, vanishing as suddenly as he appeared. You pick up the crooked branch, tracing its path with your fingers. A distant memory stirs. What was your mission? You have gained so much knowledge that you struggle to remember where you were trying to go. You look for it, shifting through your thoughts. It comes to you with a jolt. You were trying to find your way to the master of many worlds. There was something about a door. Focus. A door begins to come into focus. You realize it is missing something. Use the branch with the door. The branch bonds with the door, creating a handle. And with that, the door is fully realized. Open it. You grasp the handle and open the door. Step over the threshold. You step inside and stand in a room with a man, the master of many worlds, sitting behind a desk, typing, turning concepts and ideas into words, shaping this reality. He lifts his head. Look at him. You stare the man in the eye. With a shock, you realize that you've made a mistake. You've come to the wrong place. This man, this master of many worlds, is not the one you were looking for. He's not Dor. He's someone else entirely. You want to ask him what he, know what he knows, but it's already too late. Wow. The door's opening. What is it? Oh, cool. You found Alan. Holy shit. We have witnessed a case of mistaken identity. Wow. But in the vastness of the multiverse, with an endless number of versions of ourselves, what is identity anyway? Can there be more than one master of many worlds? Or did our hero take a wrong turn somewhere along the way? Was this particular journey precisely what was needed to make him the one he was meant to become? One thing is certain. I am your host. The one and only Warland Door. And this is... Beedy beedy beedy. Nice Springs. Wait, that makes me feel like I could have done something different. Like a different choice? For a different outcome? Let me look it up to be sure. Uh, looks like that's it. Okay. I think so, at least. That was it! That was all the DLC that came out now, but... Oh, yeah. So sad. Chasing the murder cult made me feel like I was... Caught in a loop. This voice Every actor time passed I thought away. I was getting closer, things shifted around, and I realized I was further away than ever before. Instead of answers, I only got more questions. The name of the cult and the masks they wore kept changing. What a good voice. The deeper into the dark depths I got, peeling off the layers of this case, like the ocean zones from twilight to midnight to abyssal to the deepest trenches the closer i felt to going mad oh so sad that was the dlc for now so that was night springs there is the lake house coming it says coming soon i don't i have no idea when might, they might just drop it unexpected again in the future, but if it comes out, I'll be there. I hope you guys enjoyed Night Springs DLC. That was super fun. I was kind of hoping for a little bit more for that last one. I really liked the fourth wall breaking and like parallel dimension idea of like somewhere we're just a video game. I like that. That was really good. But I, I thought there was going to be like a a moment or a conversation with... Uh, Mr. Door, especially because I mentioned FMV in the beginning, it kind of like put in my head that we were gonna get a scene with Door, and that was like gonna be the end. Um, so I was kind of like, oh, it didn't do that, but still really cool and really, it was awesome to see all the different 
types of media they thought of. The comic book, the retro style side scroller, just amazing. All the, the text based, which I really, really like playing. Um, so super cool. I really enjoyed that DLC. I hope you guys did too. Leave a like if you did enjoy it. And thank you so much for watching.